director Nick Norman Butler, and uh, we are going to be talking about his new film, My House. Uh, it comes out. Is it out already, Nick? It when's what's the release date? Yeah, it's out already. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, it's out now. And uh, Nick, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing good, thank you. Excellent. Well, can you tell us a little bit about My House? Sure. Um, so My House is a um, film made in the UK. It stars um, a very talented uh, actress in the lead role called Miran Mack, who was BAFTA nominated here. Um, and the other lead is a guy called Francis McGee, who's also fantastic. It's a contained thriller um, and filmed in a found footage style. Um, and it basically is about um, a father and daughter who live in uh, live together. And at the beginning of the film, uh, Carla, that's the name of the lead actress, the character, she finds a video camera, a camcorder in her home and, and starts to use it. And uh, without getting too far ahead of the plot, uh, I can tell you, but just uh, but the initial setup is she, she starts to film inside her house and, and discovers that um, uh, all is not what it seems, shall we say. Yeah, and uh, judging from the trailer, uh, there's a lot more going on outside than, than she's uh, allowed to believe. That right, correct? that's right. So, <clears throat> as we as she films and we start to learn a little bit about her world, um, we see that most things appear normal, but um, there are several rules of the house, and one of them, the biggest, is that she's not allowed to leave the house. Um, this rule is set by her father, who, you know, seems, appears to be a normal, loving dad. Um, and uh, one day when he leaves the house, a stranger comes to talk to Carla, and he, know, he already knows her name, and uh, starts to talk to her through the window. And he seems to know, know a lot more about her life than even she does. Uh, it, the, the concept is just so unnerving, you know, and fascinating too. Um, so let's, let's, let's talk about your, your career. Um, you started off, well, first of all, the film was a 15-year passion project, correct? That's right, yeah. Right, and so you actually got your start in investigative journalism and then uh, documentaries. Um, so can you tell me about that journey and how maybe those experiences influenced this particular script? Yeah, I think I've always been intrigued by mystery and by finding out the truth. Um, and that initially that led to a career in, in investigative journalism. Um, but this movie you know, does borrow from that in a sense. It is a mystery and um, the protagonist, Carlo, is trying to find out the truth. Hmm. And uh, were, there any, were there any things that you investigated or, or, or reported on that kind of inspired this story? Um, I haven't worked on any journalism that's similar to this story, um, but I've worked on plenty of other kinds of stories. Excellent. And what is it, what is it about that investigation that is so compelling to you? Um, well, I think, um, You know, mysteries are an enduring sort of endure for many people. You know, there's a um, there's a thrill of finding out a secret. Um, there's a um, you know, I remember when I was in news, we had a boss who used to say that uh, the definition of news was a story that someone didn't want to know about. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that you know, that sums it up pretty well. You, uh, what, so how did you begin developing this story and uh, how, why did it take 15 years to actually get it to production and it completed? Um, well, wow. that's, uh, <clears throat> that's a long story, but I'll, I'll just say that 
this was the first script I ever wrote. Um, and I guess uh, when I first wrote it, it was wildly ambitious and very different. And plus I was learning the craft. So I would do drafts and frankly, they were no good. So I would put it away, put the script away in a drawer and come back to it when I had more time, which might have been a year later. There's a bit of an echo in my life. I've been sounding all right for you. Yeah, I'm getting a bit of an echo, too, but uh, I think it'll be okay. Okay. Be right. um, yeah, so I put the script away and uh, come back to it, and that just so it was like a sort of hobby rather than a um, to, you know, I wasn't on a timetable or working to a deadline, I was just wanting oh. to learn how to write. Um, and 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 at the same time, you know, I suppose after 15 years, then you know, I had the brainwave of how to make it a much smaller, sort of achievable film, and um from a producer's point of view. And so that is what you see now. You know, it's a one location film with a cast of four people. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. all takes place within the space of a few days, which is very different to how the script started out. So funny how a project kind of gets whittled down to something, you know, like a distilled idea like that. Uh, this, you know, whether it be for production purposes or just how the story evolves in your brain. Um, it's just such a fascinating process. Now, you were living with these characters for quite some time in your head before you began even casting. How did you end up finding uh, uh, Mirren Mack and, uh, to, to play this key character? Um, we just we went through the normal casting process. Um, and I think we got very lucky to, to get Mirren Mack. I mean, anyone who sees the movie will you know, and it tells me that uh, Mirren's performance is just astonishing. So, um, yeah, nothing uh, nothing unorthodox about the casting process. Um, we, we just used a very good casting director and um, Mirren, you know, provided a, a tape and, you know, I thought she was a, a, the clear candidate for the job and I'm so happy she accepted. Wait, did, did you feel a bit guarded? about these characters and who you cast? Guarded how? Well, just that you just really wanted to get it right. No, not really. And, um, no, I, I, I had no doubts that Mirren could do the job, so I, I wasn't guarded at all. Excellent, excellent. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's nice when a director can actually trust and, you know, they're, their actors to take it did she did she bring some new i don't know nuances to uh, the material that you perhaps didn't plan on um well i think you know my memories of working with mirren is that she um and francis who plays her father were pretty much um would pretty much nail every scene Scene in one take. Um, wow. And, um, you know, very rarely would I need uh, to give them any direction, frankly, or even need to do a second take. Um, they were that good. And, um, you know, so I, I was just very grateful for that. Um, but also, you know, that. <clears throat> the way we filmed it with it when it with it being found footage you don't have the traditional coverage that you would have with a normal setup uh you just have you know each scene is is a one in effect um and sometimes the characters pass the camera around from between them if, the, if it's motivated in the scene for them to um pass the camcorder around um but yeah there's there's no you know wide medium close-up it's just it's just one shot from one camera setup. So every scene needs to be have a perfect take for you to get it in the bag um, or in the can. And so, um, you know, having actors this good who could do it all in one take and do so regularly, you know, made my life very easy. It sounds me really lucky. Very, very. But of course, like you said, it starts, it starts with good casting and 
you know, going from there. Yeah. So how how long? It's it seems as if perhaps the the shoot was pretty quick if you were able to tear through. Yeah. Material like that. That's right. Yeah, we shot the whole movie in ten days. Wow. Yeah. That's super quick. Uh, and when did you shoot? Was the pandemic anywhere near that? Or Yeah, that's right. We shot it in December 2020. Um, wow. Which was um, not quite lockdown, but in a break between lockdown here in, in the UK. Um, <clears throat> but we were operating under strict uh, COVID protocol rules. And um, it was challenging. We filmed it in December. Um, and it was freezing, but we had to have all the windows open in the house for ventilation. So, you know, in between takes, everyone would quickly put on their coats again to stay warm. Um, and, and I wasn't, uh, you know, everyone was in their own bubbles and the actors were in their own bubble. Uh, so in between take, and I was in the camera department's bubble. So I couldn't, I couldn't talk to the, um, to my actors in between takes. I had to just sort of meet them on set again um, when it was time to do the next scene. Unbelievable. Yeah, it, it, the, the films made during the pandemic to me are such an interesting thing to dive into because despite all of the restrictions, the creativity still persevered. Yeah. Um, in many ways, this film would never have been made if it were not for the pandemic because um the location which we had was a house that was uh scheduled for renovation that got cancelled because of uh the pandemic um i don't know if my actors would have been available if it were not for the pandemic um and <clears throat> financially i put in some money which came from a business funding scheme that would not would not have existed if it were not for the pandemic um so that was the silver lining really of covid for me so things yeah things happen for a reason i suppose or they they happen as they should um so yeah there you go well uh how has how has reception for the film been uh so far in the uk um yeah i've had heard very good things in the uk um people are very pleased with it um again the you know the acting performances is what really get people talking um but so far so good excellent well it's been a long road for you uh to get to this point but here you are it's done it's out for everyone to enjoy um and you know best of luck on this release and congratulations thus far thank you um, of course, um, everyone, you can see My House, and this is directed by Nick Norman Butler, and also written by Nick Norman Butler. Um, Nick, it was an absolute pleasure to speak with you, and I hope to hear from you again. Thank you so much. Great All right. Talking with you, too. Take care.